Hello ladies and gentlemen, we are back with another video. Today we will be talking about Minimal War and Call to Arms. Now, since they're pretty much made by the same people and then if they're pretty much the same, I will not have to make a video from a Minimal War or Call to, Call to Arms, whichever side I pick first, which I will explain some of the basics. So, let's start with a background because I'm sure you don't want something really stupid like that. So, what you want to do is press, so, you know what, another thing is, before I actually go on this, F2 would be this mode, F3 would be this mode, and F2, which you would be able to mess with the map, or this would you would usually, this is the mode that you would usually use to create the map, while F3 would be, I don't know, having fun with the map, screwing with it, or other stuff. So F2 would be pretty much that, and F3, what I just said, F1 would be getting out of that, and would look like you're in the normal game except for the whole start thing which let's go into f3 since we don't want to interfere with the map let's go to human and let's go to let's place down a random unit all right this and this all right and what you got what you can do with these guys are ch change the team right here another thing is when you do the whole team and you want to be all on the team side, you must have a numpad. Now, if you're clicking the thing and it's not working, you gotta make sure you're in F3 mode. And make sure the num lock is on. So you can change it, whatever team that you want it to be. And then, right here, control. This would mean that you have control and in the movement. If it's on hold, free, or zone. Zone, I don't really know much about. Hold would mean they stay in place and free would that mean they would move around on their own now no advance would mean that the only thing they would do is move backwards and no retreat would mean they would only move forward so you could scroll down a little bit more which would be important on some maps you go to textures which can change their uniform color so we got that so boom changes for this one, it's more easier. So, desert. Winter. You can also do the same when it comes to any unit. Pretty much all, like, units with the factions can do it. So, U.S. Navy. Go to here. Change. Desert. Winter. Which would be that. Now, let's say you want a guy to be invincible. You want him to be Rambo. You would go down to right here where it says Discovery. You want to go right down below that. And you want to pull down Fool. Which would make him invincible. For example, watch. I don't know how they survive. There. Only he survived. Watch. He is still up and living. Now, let's go down to the vehicles, which would be quite important. So, any vehicle most likely would have textures and all that, which you can change. Striker. Some the helicopters. All the hel Any vehicle has their own, like, extra textures. So, where I said where you go to textures, texture, or text mods, or whatever, I'm just going to call them texture, because pretty much, desert, winter, and wood, change that. And now, if you want a vehicle to be invincible, you can do the same thing when it comes to the infantry, boom, you can also change the scale, hold on. Boom. Now it looks like a little toy. Isn't that pretty cool? Do 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 boop 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 bop. Alright. Also, anything that you place down and you want to delete the previous thing that you did, you can do Control Z. Or you want to uh, delete something specific in F2 or F3, you want to click on the unit and there will be a delete key above the arrow keys and that will delete it. So, that's pretty much that. Now, let's go. Now, 
of trees, bushes, and all that, right? You can change, you can change the textures of some of them, like bear, or burn, bear, or burn. Now, I won't go too much in detail of F2, which there's multiple tutorials about that since it gets a lot more complicated. I'm just showing you some of the gist of the call to arms right there. So, what you can also do is see the pause break, which would pause the game. Now, if you click the back key, the back, oh no, where did it go? Apparently, I forgot where it is. Oh. Okay, so once you go in F mo F1 mode, if you press the back key, you can change the speed of the game. Or you make it really fast. I just put it back to normal. You, If you want more angles or you want to get closer to the ground, you can go in F2. And then it'll say clip camera position. Do that and you would be limited. But undo it, you won't. Now, with the whole map making thing, I will not make a video on that since too complicated. Now, you can go to where you can place down barrels and all that. Now, with certain entities, you can change the textures of these too. So, like this, boom. That one you can't. Sometimes it won't be located, sometimes you have to go all the way down here. So, plaster. And let's delete. Another thing that you can do with the vehicles is let's spawn in one. Boom. Alright, so you spawn in one, but you want it to have the cover over it. So, what you would do, you would go down and it'll say details. Which, when you want to uncheck the random, then go down again. And you can put down whatever you want on there. Boom. Look. If you don't want it on, you just uncheck it. Quite easy and simple. Remember, F6 is to change your background. Pretty dank. Oh, that's just some of the stuff. I'm just gonna stop the video because I don't want to go too far. This is would this would help a few people, you could say. But if this video showed you a few cool, neat tricks, leave a like and subscribe for more content like this. Now, I was just doing some of the stuff on top of my head. I may have forgot to tell you guys a few things. Or, oh, I know what? I did. So, how you would move an object, you can click on it. You can hold C and move your mouse, which would do that. Now, you do that and hold X, which would change this. Now, let's say you want to put them in a certain height. Um, you can use your arrow keys to move them around. Or you can, like right click and drag it now I forgot how you would move them up or down but you can use the Z Y and X positions would be useful but a lot slower so that's pretty much all it please leave a like and subscribe for more content like this I wish it was a little bit more professional but I didn't feel like it